Hi and welcome to this week's Walk for a Village from Two Way Kids where each week we upload free printable Bible lessons for you to use with your under fives at home or at church. You know many of us at the moment are at home and taking teaching our children the Bible um, to ourselves as we are unable to meet in churches and we really just pray that these lessons would be a great blessing to you as you spend time as a family exploring God's Word together. So if you haven't already done so, can I just encourage you to head over to the website at truewaykids.com that you can download this week's lesson and follow along. So this week, in part of our series we're doing at the moment, looking at parables of Jesus, we're looking at a very well-known parable, which is the parable of the sower. And on the front cover, you'll see the picture there of the man sowing the seed out in the field. Again, this week's lesson is available in many languages, so please um, check the website to see if your language is there if your language is anything but um, English. It'll definitely be Portuguese, Spanish, French, Vietnamese, Korean, Russian, um, Swedish, Dutch and a few more. So as you open up a lesson you'll see the introduction here. So we see that this parable is actually found in uh, Matthew, Mark and Luke. So you can pick whichever one, read it with your child. Some of the main points we're going to look at is first that our heart must be responsive to God's word, that um, we can ask for help to understand God's word and that we can share and um, should share the truth with others. So the ideas of the game and activities are but as a start of this is to actually create four fields with your child. So get some seed trays or some um, recycling you could use from your house and create a field. So as you tell a story, the child can look and see which one would be good for seed. There's lots of other ways that you can do it and I recommend you read this and pick and choose parts which are going to work well for your child. And that's a, just a great way of doing that. I pray that like, you'll really be blessed as you explore um, this passage together. As you continue then on the next pages we have the printable story. So these are always printed on two pages, like so. So you can print it front to back if you print it does so. Otherwise just um, print them on two pages and then you can put them like this and just fold and there you see a little box. So it tells the story of a sower, so the sower sows the seed, and then when it lands on the path and the birds come down to eat it, and the stones that um, wilt does, then the weeds, and then finally the good crop. And at the end we see it producing a great harvest. Then games and activities, well, a lot of these are involved in um, garden activities this week as we are looking about sowing the seeds. So on the page you'll see games and activities. The first one is to build a scarecrow, talk about how the birds came down and tried to steal a seed. So if your child get um, some sticks and some old clothes and you can stuff them with newspaper, recycled paper or with straw if you happen to have some. And you can put the scarecrow there in your garden or even just um, but paper one, keep inside the house for a couple of days as a reminder of um, the enemy trying to steal the seed. And then gardening, you know, gardening is a great activity. As a family we personally love gardening, so it's very easy for us to do this and something that we do often anyway. But children learn so much from gardening, not only do they learn where food comes from and um, get involved in taking care of plants as well, but there's maths involved, chemistry involved. There's just so many great hands-on things which gardening can help with child's education as well as having fun and spending time outdoors, which is really important. So I'd encourage you to spend some time in the garden with your child and there's lots of websites that give you good ideas and activities you can do together. And finally, there's a game called Plant a Seed in Good Soil. All you need to do is mark off four sections. We done it outside since it was a, it was a nice sunny day, but you could do it inside as well. Mark off four squares. One of those squares is going to be good soil. And what your child must do is throw a ball or a bean bag into that square to score a point. Worksheets this one is, first one is the child needs a circle of things which a farmer needs to plant some seeds so a watering can could be useful but the greater not necessary so useful so they circle of things which the farmer needs. There's a spot of difference with a scarecrow and there's seven differences between the two pictures for you to find. Next one is to count the seeds so you see the apple each apple produces different numbers of seeds and the child must write out how many seeds are in the box below. In this one you see the four types of soil as we see in the parable. The child must cut out, or it's easier for you even to cut out them for your child and they just must glue them into which one is a good soil to plant the seed. And this week's craft is a um, nice one, you'll need two paper plates for the best results but you could use just cardboard or paper as well. So here's the picture of a craft and I'm going to show you the one which we made in just a second. But there's also a template page of follows, which is this one, which is pictures where you can write Bible verses on, and these would be the seeds. So here's the craft that we made. Two paper plates. The first one you just paint in blue. We'd have a bit of white on the top for it to look like clouds. The second one you paint half of it 
in brown or in soil color and then you just cut it in a wavy line or in a straight line if you have a straight line um, is also fine and you could get actually two of these so if you do it in a group setting or with more than one child then you only need to paint one paper plate brown cut it and two children can use one brown paper plate but so you will need really uh, three paper plates for two children once you do this allow it to dry glue the paper plates together and you'll have a little envelope there we talk about planting good seeds so we talk about how the bible is good seed for us to plant so on the seeds then you can write some memory verses these are some of the ones which we've done for um, he first loved us and do all things through him who gives me strength uh, Philippians 4 verse 13 so once you write your Bible verses for a week you can ask your child and do some memorizing activities with your child to remember and say how it's like planting good seeds so you can then plant them behind um, the, the soil so that's just a simple activity for us to do this week okay, if you haven't got paper plates you could equally just use cardboard as well or, or paper and glue them together that way coloring pages Here's the one of the um, farmer again sowing the seed in his fields. Here's the birds coming down and stealing the seed. Here's the different types of field with the weeds, with the stones, and with a good crop. And finally, the last one is when he's out collecting the harvest from the field. On the back page, we have some um, good um, songs which go along with this week's lesson, which you can. Um, sing with your child for personal use at home via YouTube or there's a link as well um, to a song which goes to a popular two of Row Row Yo Row Your Boat, A Prayer and next week we're looking at The Persistent Widow as we carry on looking at our series of parables, of Jesus' parables together. Well we really pray that this lesson will be a great blessing to you and to your children. Um, if you're sending it out to families in your church then feel free to do that feel free to send them the pdf directly or just a link to the website however best serves you print them off and um, post them to the houses deliver them to houses we just really pray that this will be a tool to help you um, continue your ministry to children and to help children explore the bible in this um, difficult time for churches throughout the world so we're unable to meet together and um, feel free to send us your we love to see your craft so if you do make this week's craft or current page tag us in it on social media we love to see them send us any messages or let us know how we can help you better in this time and we'll do our best to do so we are praying for you and we just thank you for your continued um, love support and encouragement to us so have a great week and we see you next week god bless